This is Duke University. Well, welcome back. I've really missed you over the last couple of weeks when you've been off with Ram Netta learning about propositional logic and then categorical logic. Well, I'm Walter Senator Armstrong, and I'm the Chauncey Stillman Professor of Practical Ethics at Duke University. I'm teaching a course called Think Again, How to Reason and Argue uh, on the Coursera website. And we've got, I'm glad to say, over 100,000 students. The first step is to figure out the syllabus of the course you know, which topics you're going to cover and approximately how long they take. The next step is to, within each week, break it up into smaller segments. I'm used to having a 50-minute lecture or a 65-minute lecture, and I had to break that up into smaller chunks and think about where would it be useful to have exercises afterwards. Then I write basically a script for each of the little segments. and practice it and think about the examples and think through how someone from Sri Lanka who's taking the course might react to that. Then you need to get your setup and we received a computer and a microphone uh, and a camera and a writing board uh, from Duke. You, then you have to get your lighting right and I'm very lucky that my son Nick uh, it does lighting and then we, we wanted to put all of my books in the background hoping that a hundred thousand people will buy each book. Then we get to the actual videoing of the segment and you turn on the camera, you push the start button and then you give the lecture. You then stop that little bit and you go, oh no, I pushed the button twice, it didn't record. And then you have to record it again. And then Joe takes over and looks at the different versions and pieces them together, decides which one's best, which one fits with which, edits the whole thing together, throws in pictures. But then, you know, we've had all these great ideas. We want to put in this movie poster and that movie poster to, you know, to make the students think of that when we're talking about a related topic. Uh, and at that point, you know, Lauren Fowler comes in and, you know, the Duke legal office and she has to get permissions and she tells us that's going to cost 250 bucks. So we say, forget it. I'm not paying that. That's outrageous. We're advertising your movie for you. And so we got to get rid of that and put in another picture. And then I have to make up a quiz. What we want to do is give them options. They can take the quiz, take it again, they get the best grade. You know, that's great for the students, but that means I got to make up two quizzes. And then you've got it ready. You've got to upload it to the website, then they close caption it. Uh, Coursera does that for you. Uh, then it goes onto the website and the students take it. Well, then there are discussion forums. And I have a grad student who's gonna be monitoring the discussion forums. And if there are, say, complaints on the discussion forums about something in the lecture that seemed wrong or was confusing, then he's gonna let me know and we're gonna maybe try to fix it, uh, at least fix it next time. So it's very tricky. I think, to teach this kind of course. And I'm sure I haven't done it properly because it's the first time I've ever done it, but that's part of what it is to participate in an experiment. Produced by Duke University, online at duke.edu.